Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Disney's Epic Mickey. In the last episode, we covered guardians and stuff, and that was an example of me using a guardian right on that, uh, on the, the, the broom guy. Sweeper. That's what they're called. Um, uh, right now we are gonna look for the exit, and I completely forgot where it was, and I remembered it shaped as Mickey's head. Right there. <laughs> Anyways, you can either thin that out or, um, you know, just do what I did. And there's, a uh, there's another, um, another gremlin. Whoops, I forgot his name. There's another gremlin there. These guys. I mean, if you, like, save a bunch of gremlin, you get the good ending. Which... I'm going for the good ending. And, uh... There's a treasure chest up there with a... With a gold thing, but I forgot about it when I was doing this, and I didn't get it. I feel terrible. Alright, this part... Uh, it's easier if you thin them out when they're about to, uh... You know, about to get to where you want them to be. And I kind of messed up a few times there. If you hold down the, you know, spray thing, I kind of messed up a few times, but if you hold down, I mean, if you just tap the spray button, it does like a spray. It just like, uh, kind of like shoots it out in a burst which is stupid I hate that and uh so far I've been getting lucky with uh not falling from this part because I usually just fall with my luck so and then there's a treasure chest right there with e-tokens or e-tickets gosh oh tickets and a heart. It's just uh, one of those super hearts. I'll show you what a super heart is. It's a heart. I mean, it's Mickey. It's a Mickey heart with hearts floating above it. That's how you can tell. It's like a, a super heart. And there's a bunch of thinner there. You don't care. Hardly ever use thinner. And we need paint. That's what we need. There's a sweeper up there, and he's... Oh, no, no, no. That's a... Uh, one thing. I forgot what they're called. God, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing this, so... It's... I'm tired. Very tired. Have you guys played Black Ops yet? That's actually pretty fun. What are you... Nasty. It, Black Ops is actually really fun. I know, I just kicked that guy off. I don't know, I was thinking about doing a Black Ops playthrough, or not. But, uh, I want to do a zombie thing, eventually. You know, I might do Black Ops one of these days. I like that game, that game was fun. Of course, I played Black Ops for all, for PS3 and, uh, I'm getting it for a Wii because I want to try that out. I I was I I heard it's kind of like Goldeneye, you know, just the way it was, and I thought I was gonna die there, but I'm glad that uh, there was another thing there. And I like Goldeneye; that was a fun game. And I didn't notice there was a gremlin down there, so I skipped him. Whoops! Don't yell at me. <laughs> If you get all the gremlins in this place, they help you out a lot for what you're going to need. You're going to need some help in this uh, part. Well, you're not going to need it. This is actually a really easy part, and they just do it for you. It saves time. Uh, like right now, some of the gremlins will come out and help you. They'll, they'll switch the novels for you. 
And I completely forgot there was a treasure chest there, otherwise I would have got it. I, I would have been like, screw you guys, I'm going to get it, but I completely forgot about it. And if I would have saved that last one, he would have did it anyways, so it doesn't matter. I would have been screwed over anyways. Alright, so let's go and switch that last novel. Or Nas... Uh, never mind. Let's go switch that last... Uh, thingamajig. Switch. And uh, that... And that sweeper dies, epically. Of course, that opens the door... To nowhere. To nowhere. So that might be. And I was seeing if we could switch that back so we can go and get it. But I guess not. Or this is actually this is a fun part. Uh, I like I like these parts. It was pretty fun. Uh, so there's a door up there, and the only way we can open it is by switching those nozzles. But there's steam flowing over the nozzles. So what we're gonna do is hit that button right there, and it's gonna shut them off for a brief amount of time, nine seconds or 10 but uh it's quite easy I managed to do it in two seconds and now we have a character his name is well that, that's small Pete I thought he was Pete walking up to me being stupid calling himself something else but I guess not alright Pete small Pete has a, like a ship and stuff Apparently a China man, and he's got a peg leg. That's cool. I want a peg leg. And uh, yeah, there's a switch there. I'm not gonna do it though, because I want Gus. I mean, I want that uh, gremlin. And look who decides to show his ugly face, Oswald. And. Uh, they don't ever show these characters going through the projectors. They should, though. Alright. Um, let's go. Alright, we used our, uh, other. We used our, uh, the guardian on that guy. Well, that's not as much. That's just something stupid. Uh, yeah, we used our guardian and it fell, and it turned him into the good guys. That's that's what we want. That's a good thing. And now we set, now we make this guy free. He doesn't do anything but make the boats move, which helps us out a lot. Otherwise, we'd be jumping through the thinner, getting killed, which is bad. Considering there's like no health beyond that point, except for those little statues, what I'll show you. I'm gonna end up smashing them anyways. Alright, our next quest is to open up the fire bridge, or activate the fire bridge. And this will be our whole point of this video, and I fell anyways. I'm dumb. There's a bunch of statues over there, that's what I was talking about. They carry like one E ticket and one E ticket's retarded. But, if we pay this guy 100 E tickets, he will get rid of the whirlpool, which will help us a lot. It is worth 100 E tickets. So, say goodbye to the whirlpool. Unless you guys didn't know there's a whirlpool, then I'd make fun of you guys. Well, not really. Alright, so these statues are stupid. I need heart. Oh, I don't think I get a heart from this place. From these stupid statues. Oh, shit. Right, I want that E ticket. So now we're in we're way behind the knee tickets, but it helped that that closing down that whirlpool helped us out, out a lot. Stuttering, what the crap? 
Alright, now we'll take the boat again. Over, over somewhere, like over there. Yeah, right there. You know, I think we could have uh, shut down the whirlpool ourselves. I'm not sure. But those fan blades are odd colored, so we can thin them out. And that's how we get through this this mess. And I got hit. All right, there's some more valves over there. That guess what? We have to thin out. And these fan blades seem to get trickier after uh, every one. So, uh, we thin that out. And, um, there's just some boxes back here. Probably just with thinner and, yeah, with just thinner and, and an e-ticket. This, oh, box over there. Oh, another e-ticket. Hit that valve and run for your life. Yep, just keep going. Hit that valve and it adds more time. Because, you know, this is the long one. They can't just, like, continue off time. And that opens up a door to the treasure chest, which I didn't get because... Uh, because I'm a noob and I got hit by the same fan blade once again. Uh, I thought those were stairs, so I thought I could paint the stairs, which was a big noob mistake. And I was like, oh, those aren't stairs. Those are something stupid. Anyways, there's a bunch of crap over here that you don't necessarily have to do. Oh, I needed that heart. Like... On the other side, there's a bunch of, uh, things. The other side would be trickier than this part. Since we could just jump up here and jump on the lever. But the other part, we'd have to, you know, do the thinning and painting. And then thin again. And fall off and do that whole thing all over again, which would suck. There was a fire bridge. It's a dragon. Or something. with A dragon with a beard. I don't know what that is, but it's really cool. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to carefully jump on the dragon and carefully walk across its tail. Carefully. I thought I was about to fall a couple times. Now this door won't open unless we find a switch. Which the switch isn't hidden at all. It's just more like, you know, above the door. Pretty stupid. I wonder if Oswald have to do, had to do this to open up the bridge. I'm not open up the bridge, but uh, open up the thing. I doubt it. Oh, I just barely made that one. And it opens up the door. Alright, everybody. In the next episode, we go through the projector. Peace out.